guys welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you so much for stopping by my name is Leslie and I like to post lifestyle budgeting and motherhood type of content here on the mother plan so y'all we're gonna just jump right into it we have to do a cash stuffing for the month of February and this is for paycheck number two and I'm gonna go ahead and set up and we'll get started all right guys I got my cash tray and we have our sinking fund report sheet and I have some cash right here so this is six hundred and five dollars this includes the money for our cash stuffing and also the money that we pulled for our saving challenge so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the number for our debt snowball so we'll know what amounts that we need to get out of our everyday cash envelope so I have my little glass right here. So you guys comment down below what number am I going to get? And I'm popping out numbers already. I don't know why I'm so messy. <laughs> okay, so the first one is 26. So we need to find $26 inside of our everyday cash envelope. And we need one more. All right. The next one is 12. Y'all, I just pulled 12. That's crazy. Where's my little numbers from the other one? I did this like the first time we did these, um, start pulling the numbers for the first paycheck that we did this challenge on. So I did 12 and 13 for our paycheck breakdown. So that is our saving challenge numbers right here. And then 26 and 12 is for our debt snowball challenge. So I need to find $38 to stuff our debt snowball envelope. And we'll go ahead and grab that money right now. Again, this is the wallet I got from Amazon. I will go ahead and link it down in the description box below if you are interested. I do love it so far. And I especially like it because you can just take the envelopes out for your cash stuffing. Okay, so we said we needed how much y'all? 26 and 12. So we said that is a total of $38. So let me see. Ooh. I got some money left in groceries. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's not bad. And... I think I am going to just use, well, I don't have no choice. Look at that. I don't have nothing in miscellaneous, and I don't have nothing in my envelope, and nothing else in grocery, because we just pulled that money. So family fun it is. So, $38, 20 $25, $30, $35, 36, 37, 38. So I'm gonna take those ones and put that back into my family fund envelope. Y'all, that wasn't too bad. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this challenge going. <laughs> so I gotta make some more money next month because y'all see that? That's pretty, pretty empty. I just depleted the groceries. I never have any money left over in my envelope, for real. Y'all, I'm so sorry about the glare. That's my ring light. That's really messed up my vibe here. And then I have some money in the family fund, and that's it. I don't have no money in miscellaneous. Let me count to make sure this is the $38 that we need. So 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. $38. So what I'm gonna do is add that to our bank. Okay guys, so starting off, I know it's hard to see because of the lighting, we're gonna do groceries. And grocery always gets $200. I'm going to split it up just a little bit. And we're going to do 250s and 520s. One, two, three, four, and five. So this should be $200. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So we're good there. 
Next up is going to be spending. So, can you see? <laughs> nope, that didn't help. All right, so my envelope is going to get $15, and I'm gonna do a 10 and a five. These, look at that, y'all. That is one raggedy behind $5 bill. But it's okay, it's gonna spend just as good. And y'all know my husband, I don't ever have his envelope. I think he do it on purpose, so maybe I need to make him like a like more manly envelope. <laughs> or maybe I'll just give him like the one that I use for my sinking funds, and it's just like a clear zipper one. I'll probably do something like that, we'll see. So let me go ahead and get his little $15 out as well. I'm gonna set that to the side and just hand it to him. All right, and then Family Fun. Family Fun is going to be getting $20. So we got 20 right here. And y'all know I just took the money out of here to do our little debt snowball. So now we have 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 50 dollars, that's not bad. Still not bad. And y'all know we hardly ever do anything. I'm all about free 99, okay? So I usually just get us some treats from either one of our food trucks. Um, we do like to go visit some of the local food trucks on the weekend and support them. So if we do eat out, it's usually from a food truck. Or I'll just grab some ice cream, you know, pizza, stuff like that. So we don't really do much and everything else I try to do you know, that's free. Go outside, <laughs> plan some type of activity that we can do. Okay, so the next one is the miscellaneous envelope. And miscellaneous is completely empty, y'all. So yeah, like, I don't know. I wish I could put a little bit more money in this envelope. I'm, it's just that the budget was so tight this month. I just kind of had to, you know, do what we can do. So I'm going to just put another 20 in there and hopefully we won't need many things in this category <laughs> which i feel like i do a decent job at you know making sure we have enough money and our sinking funds and kind of having all that stuff played out but you never know you miss things so i'm just going to just put a 20 in there for now and then y'all know boss lady boss lady is me i'm going to do that when we get to our etsy cash stuffings I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in my wallet. And oh y'all, yeah, I need to do the child care, the child care envelope. That one gets $100. And I am going to do, let's see, I got quite a bit of five. So let's do 20, 40, 60, hmm. 80, we'll do 85 and 90 and 100. Count that just to make sure that's $100. I'm gonna split it up because now I'm gonna be having two, fam two different family members watch my kids for me just for a little bit. Um, not much, but you know, our family would do it for free, but you know, it is what it is. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. Gotta love the family, y'all. It takes a village to raise these churn out here. All right, so this one is done. Awesome. And I'm gonna put that in my wallet. So we are good here. And I'm gonna go ahead, while we're in here, empty out my change. That is what we have for two weeks. Y'all, I am loving this coin challenge, for real. Like I said, it's something that I've always done, but it will be nice to see how much we have saved at the end of the year. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my coin jar. All right, so that's it for my actual wallet, but I do need to put some money in our gas envelope. So I do have that one here. And we do have some money left over. Let's see. We have 20, 25, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39 dollars left over. So that's good. I'm going to be adding 75 dollars. So we're going to do, hmm. 
We can do a 15 because I drive the truck and I can use that. Oh, actually, you guys know I did that backwards. I think I was supposed to just do 150 for a child care. Let me switch that back out because I don't think I'll have enough change. So y'all know I'm on the fly over here when it comes to this cash breakdown because I typically just use what I have on hand. So out of the child care money, that's what this is. I'm going to put those 20s back and put two of them back um, and a 10. And I'm going to just grab that 50. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. I hope that didn't confuse you guys. Um, but I do need those 20s for something else. So before we get too far ahead, now we're good. Let's go back to this gas envelope. And we will do, we had 39 already in there. There's 50, 70, and five so that's that so now we have get my money together sorry y'all <laughs> all right so now we have 50 70 90 95 100 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 we have $14, just going to put the money back the way I like it, there we go. Alright y'all, so that's it for all of our cash envelopes and now I'm going to be doing the sinking fund binder which is here. And we'll go ahead and get started with our home maintenance. So home maintenance, y'all, we didn't spend anything in this category, yay. And I'm just gonna add $15, so that's a 10 and a five. So starting, we had 277, so that's what should be in here. 100, 200, 250, 270, 270. I'm up here skipping. That is not a 20, Leslie. Start over, girl. 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 275, 276, and 277. So let's go ahead and add our 15. Now we have 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 280, 285, 290, 292, 291, 292. $292. Next one is card maintenance. So you guys, card maintenance, we did, I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit here. Card maintenance, we did spend a little bit of money. We had to get registration on one of the cars. So that was $39 and we're just gonna add $25 back in. So I'm gonna just take a 20 and a five. Okay, now we have I feel like I'm all over the place a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna get it together. Yeah, I know what's throwing me off, right? It's this darn tray on the left. <laughs> I put it on the left on purpose because um, the glare was really bothering me on the other side. So I'm just trying to work out the setup. I usually don't like to film at night, but I've been super, super busy. So I have to just do what I can do. So anyway. Y'all, y'all know I'll be rambling. Let me go ahead and get done with this. So car, we're adding 25, which I already did. So now we have one, two, three, 400, 450, 500, 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28. 528. Okay. Next one is pet care. Pet care, we spent $90. I had to get the baby groomed. So he got his fresh haircut. So now I'm just gonna add $10 back in. All right. So now we have 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 141. $141. Now 
Next up is Terminex. Terminex, we didn't spend anything, but we're not gonna add anything since we have a good little bit in there for now. So we are going to skip at that one. And then back to school. So back to school, we didn't spend anything and we are gonna just add $5. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85 dollars. All right, next up is karate. So my daughter's envelope is going to be getting, how much did we say, where is it? Oh, so I wrote this one backwards. I know I normally have the these envelopes in order but it's actually down here. So we did spend $50 because she had a belt testing and you guys, the belt testing was not included in the Black Friday deal. I was super sad about that. So we still have to pay for these belt testings and they are expensive. So $50 and they come up every, you know, like 11 to 12 weeks. So thank goodness that one's done for the next few months. So we're good there. So we spend 50, I am going to be adding 20. And we do have in here, let's see. So I just added that 20. So now we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, and 250. So 250 dollars. Okay, I'm gonna just put that money back the way I like it. Big bills in the front. Okay, next up is birthday and gifts. So birthday and gifts, we did not spend anything and we're gonna just add $20 back in. Okay, so I'm gonna do a 20, that last 20 that is left, which is, I think we're good on a 20s. So now we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, $215. HOA, HOA, we didn't spend anything. And we're just going to add $5. And now we have $20. 10, 15, 20. So that should be the same thing with Amazon. Amazon should only have $15 in here. Yep, and we're going to add a five. So now we have $20. Okay, emergency prep, we did spend $11. Not too bad. And we're going to be adding $15 back in. So it's 10, 15. Now we have 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 205, 206, and 207. $207. Vacation is the next one. Vacation, we did not spend anything, and we're gonna add $15 to this one. There's a 10 and a five. So now we have 50, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 130 dollars. Okay, so next, now we need to do our saving challenge. All right, so for our saving challenge, we pulled numbers 13 and 12 which is $25. So we need to get $25 for our saving challenge envelope. There we go, two tens and a five. 
This one I'm not counting right now. I'm just adding the money to the envelope. All right, and then y'all, we definitely need to count our debt snowball money because this time we are going to be adding this to our debt snowball money for the month of February. We did not do it for January, but that's okay. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, $38 that was left. And this is going to be added to our envelope. So I'm super excited how this ended up working out just because I was kind of bummed you guys. I was not able to put that much money towards like my extra debt payments this time. So y'all know I was focusing on the credit card bill and I typically like to do a thousand dollars but just kind of with the car accident and all that stuff it just really wasn't happening this time. So I was a little bummed. So I literally only had, what was it, maybe 54 I believe. I think I had $54 left over from the paycheck breakdown. So I was going to put that money towards our debt snowball and in addition to this money. So right now we have in our debt snowball envelope 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. That is not bad. $192, you guys. That's really good. So you guys, this is great. So this challenge is going great so far. I have $192 that I will be adding to our debt snowball for the month of February. So that is it you guys we are doing great i'm gonna go ahead and color in my debt snowball challenge tracker all right guys if you are interested in this tracker i do have it in my etsy shop as a download i'll leave the link down in the description box so we are going to color in numbers 12 and 26. so i see 12 but it's right next to the other blue so i'm gonna get pink for that one so let's do pink I'm sorry if you guys hear my kids in the background. It's the weekend, so y'all know they're going crazy. <laughs> All right, that's 26, and then the other one was number 12. Where are you? 12, 12, 12, where are you? There we go, there's 12, and look at that, y'all. It's right next to the pink, so we will do blue. <laughs> All right guys, that's pretty much it. I am not gonna fill out the 52 week tracker. Y'all know I decided to not do that one because I didn't really wanna know all the numbers quite yet. I may just do it quarterly, we'll see. But I do have that one here. So um, I know it's, it, it was the $77, but I'm just, I just stopped adding those totals up. So that's the 52 week challenge. And then also I am still doing the zero out challenge. And I did transfer money today. It was $2.63. And I also stopped doing the balance because I kind of want to wait a little bit to see where we're at. So that is our saving trackers. And I think we're good, you guys. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I am excited for March because I will be participating in the March Madness Money Challenge. And it's super, super cool, you guys. A whole bunch of YouTubers have got together and we're going to be saving some money in the month of March. So I'll um, definitely update you guys on that in the next video, okay? So that is it. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.